so in this whole journey that I've been on what I really want to ask myself is like how did I end up here the Maserati I guess it all started in the kitchen working in fine dining Stephen Avenue Calgary fed up with chopping garlic for hours on end I quit my job moved to the beaches of Mexico, wilderness, adventure, the promise of working on an organic farm. I got mesmerized by the beaches and fell madly in love with the debauchery of life. I also fell madly in love with the freedom, the sense that I could do absolutely anything I wanted with my life. I could be whoever I wanted. I also fell madly in love with the love of my life, my son's dad. But when that mystery and that magic started to fade. It was the beaches of Mexico, the beauty of nature that I began to cling to. That perfect, idyllic life soon started to get sick. I took a deep plunge and separated from my son's dad, leaving me in a space of victimhood, worry, and concern. A single mom supporting herself, wondering how it would all work in the long run. It was a painful and miserable day, the day that I realized that my dream of 2.5 children and the white picket fence was gone and was gone for good. In pain, retribution, defiance and escapism, I hopped on a plane, put us on a path of adventure, on a path of traveling, working online and doing things that mostly young single people decide to do. A whirlwind tour of Bali and the beautiful beaches of Mexico. Craving and searching for that wilderness, that wildness, that sense of freedom. Painfully searching for that freedom within the confines of being a young single mother. The world of Bali welcomed me and allowed me to find more peace, more connection, as I had the help of young Balinese women, often also single moms, who supported me by watching my son while I pursued the business online, pursuing a dream. What I really yearned for was the community, was the experience, but what I found myself was moment after moment, standing behind my camera, watching my son enjoy the wonders of the beach, and as he grew older, not even really enjoying those moments. There and in them, but at the same time, disconnected, distant, searching always for another adventure, another space, another solution, putting smiles on for the camera, really yearning for the experience of art, the experience of shared community, the experience of a moment to travel, and have my son really have people who were his friends, to do these things together, to share. Instead of relaxing into it, I found myself trapped in a constant wheel of repetition, going around and around, isolated and alone, traveling from one country to the next country, to the next country, to the next country, hoping that I would find the community and the peacefulness that I was looking for. During these years, I was battling depression, escapism. It's difficult to say what exactly I was running from. In fact, during this time, it seemed silly to think I was running from everything, anything, as I was welcomed into home after home, the most beautiful, most amazing spaces in the world. Yet when I look at it, was my inner journey, my inner pain, the inner transformation of being a single mom that I was running from. I returned to Canada looking for a community in the wildness of the festival scene, only to find myself again feeling isolated, alone, empty, one among thousands of whom I didn't know, again parenting solo really lacking that experience of friends, of friendship, of real love, real connection, being a part of a pack, a feeling that really I mattered, that I was really connected to the people who mattered most to me. But you know, 
all of that happened on less than $20,000 a year, living below the poverty line as a single mom. So really, when it comes down to it, can't you see that anything is possible? If I can go on all of those adventures, just imagine what's possible for you. It's time to escape the matrix. It's time to unplug your life. It's time to see what really happens when you're really willing to go there, when you're really willing to try, when you're really willing to live on your edge and explore your most passionate life.